Hey there, Athletic Motion Golfers. This is Sean Webb with this week's uh, winner of Tour Event, James Hahn. And uh, we're going to use a little different view this week, like we have done in the past, to give you a little different perspective on some of uh, the movements that these higher players are making. It may help you see things from a little different view and help you understand things a little bit better with your own swing. So uh, let's just start with setup. Again, you know, what you're looking for, a fairly level belt line, a fairly neutral, straightish spine angle. You might see some players tip to the right slightly, but we don't like to see that more than just a few degrees. And obviously you see the ball kind of forward in his stance as this is a driver. Now, let's go ahead and pull him back into the backswing. And uh, without a, a pressure plate under him or a way to measure pressure, um, we're guessing a little bit. You normally would see max pressure here about in this area. Um, of the backswing and then you're going to see as his arms go to the top before they change direction before his arms change direction you're going to see him move into the left side right there so that's him going from max pressure to the right max pressure or start to move over to the left um, to kind of set himself up for a powerful move into the ball so the other thing you're going to take note of is how much higher the right hip is than the left uh, as he makes that move into his left side you're going to see this with most most golfers or powerful players right hip slightly higher than the left at this point you're going to see him level out somewhere here uh, later in the downswing and then you're going to see the left hip get higher so that move going from kind of left pelvic tilt to right pelvic tilt as you is going to help him rotate it's going to help him push into the ground you can see his pelvis actually elevating uh, which helps him shallow the club out so he can hit up but again, it really assists with club head speed uh, and, and also the rotation of his body. So again, you see here both legs basically going into straight before he moves into the finish. So this is a really powerful, this, this guy is an athlete. You can see he's moving really powerfully here from this kind of waist tie position with his hands to waist tie and a through swing. Um, so definitely nothing is really, you know, people talk about keeping the lower body, I guess, kind of still or stable. I hear students talking about that all the time. Well, there's really nothing stable about it. It's actually really explosive, um, and there is movement. So, again, right pelvis kind of tilted left. Then the left hip gets higher as the left leg extends, and the right leg extends, which, which causes this rotation to the shot. So um, hoping that you can glean some things from that. Um, definitely the belt really doesn't turn... Uh, level I guess you would say it may you may have to feel that uh, most of these guys especially using gears we see um, the, the pelvis the right side of the pelvis getting a little higher on the back swing and then the left side getting a little higher in the through swing um, and having that feeling a lot of times can help you shift the pressure into the left foot and then kind of explode through the ball so hopefully that helps you out um, again a little bit of a unique view we'll keep trying to get these out to you to help you understand what these better players are doing and uh, we will talk to you again next week thank you